In this video, I'll be introducing the concept of the universal set and complements. So I want to begin by talking about the universal set, which is commonly referred to as the universe. Now the reason I use this fancy looking U here is that I was defining the universe, which is to say the maximum boundaries of my set, my biggest set. Everything outside of this blue circle here doesn't exist. I mean, it, in terms of the sets, nothing exists. I don't even exist. Computer doesn't exist, you don't exist. But everything within it does. So that's a very important key. Now, if I don't define this, if, if I don't define my universal set, then we just assume it to be the uh, real numbers. So if I just erase this, then, um, you know, this will just be the real numbers, which is what we've talked about in previous videos. So the other thing I want to talk about is complements. So if I say, if I'm looking for the complement of B, and uh, I'll, I'll put a more formal definition up, if I'm looking for the complement of B, then um, it is everything that is not within B. So all the elements not within B are going to be part of the, com the complement. So in this case, it would look like this. If I just highlighted everything, it would be everything within the universe still. And then... So that is the complement of B. It's all the elements that are not in B. So that's, that's quite a bit of, quite a bit. I mean, then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So since this is the real numbers, these little dots here would represent all the numbers, all, every single value, rational, irrational, that are not within B. So if this is one and two, or, if, or better yet, how about this? This is the uh, rational numbers, and these are the integers. So these would be, everything outside of this would be the irrational numbers and uh, the non-integer values. 